Byron O. Wilkins Jr. was a rifleman in the 99th Infantry Division stationed in Belgium. The 99th was an inexperienced division having arrived in Europe in November 1944. Just a month later, in the pre-dawn hours of December 16th, Wilkins and a comrade were scouting ahead of the 99th when the Germans launched a massive surprise attack as part of the Ardennes Offensive. The entire front, as far as you could see, was all light with floodlights. We looked out there and he said, what do you think that is? I said, I have no idea what that is. We know later on we learned that that's what the Germans used before the start of the Battle of the Bulge. Wilkins and the 99th were among the first to come under attack during the German offensive. After the shelling had quit, we began to hear rifle fire behind us, back in the trees. We couldn't see a thing. And down to my left were some guys coming out of some trees, and they had a Panzerfaust. That's this anti-tank shoulder-held rocket. Well, I fired my rifle back there and dispersed them. Then somebody in German yelled out to us to surrender out of the trees. Well, since we couldn't see anybody, you didn't know that there was any reason to surrender. And we had another half rifle squad and a machine gun squad. Well, they were coming out of those trees with their hands on their helmets. So they were surrendering. We finally decided we better surrender. Cut off from their parent unit, Wilkins and his comrades were forced to surrender and taken prisoner. Nearly 1,000 American soldiers were captured in the first two days of the Battle of the Bulge, and Wilkins remained in captivity for the next five months until the end of the war. <laughs>